EA Sports. It's in the game. Be raw in bed. Boom. Step in and out of the groove. Liberation from limitation. Freestyle. Acting. Acting in the now. Yeah. EA yeah. Sports. Come on. Uh, NBA Live. Yeah. Uh, 2003. Uh, fabulous. Uh, uh, uh. Who stop me? I hoop with the best of them. We are back with another them. Don't game game game. Game. And that's oh. NBA Live 2003. I got a message for all of them. Fake, shake, and bake. You can pull that move off as well in NBA Live 2003 as it's a sports game developed by EA Sports and EA Canada. It, it was released on October 8, 2002 for the PS2, PS1, Xbox, PC, and GameCube. The game was preceded by NBA Live 2002 and followed up by NBA Live 2004. Live 2003 has a number of different gables you can do, such as season, one-on-one, practice, franchise, and exhibition. Now let's get into each one. Season is where you play season with teams and can choose what teams or what type of schedule you want, or even the league schedule as well. One-on-one is where you go up against another opponent. You can choose where, such as the beach, urban, or even the gym. It's all up to you. Franchise is similar to the season, but you can create a custom league and choose whatever teams or schedule you like, also as it's not limited to just a season. Practice is a mode where you can choose one individual player and show off his skills and see what he's like and how he plays as well. Exhibition is just simply playing a game between two teams of your choice. Here's some gameplay from NBA Live 2003. Bryant, crossover on his defender. Get out of his way. Here to make noise. Get up, boy. Missed. Kid sets up the play. On your left. He puts it up. Out of bounds. New Jersey ball. Playoffs is another mode in which you choose which teams fight for a championship and whoever is the champion is the champion. This game is considered a classic because it's one of the best basketball games of all time and one of the best live games as well. You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. It's a lot of fun and it has a lot of players to choose from as well. It's just as great to play on a PC as the console version even though it does take getting used to playing on a keyboard. This is also the last year in which the GOAT, Michael Jordan, was in the video game as an actual player as he retired for good after that season as the third all-time leading scorer in NBA history at the time. The music is solid as well, and most of the music is hip-hop as that's the culture in basketball, and most of that is in live, 2003. The soundtrack is also the first video game soundtrack to go platinum, which is pretty impressive to do for a video game soundtrack, that's for sure. The theme song of NBA Live 2003 is Get Live by Snoop Dogg. This song is played every time you enter the main menu of the game. The cover athlete of the game is Jason Kidd when he was with the New Jersey Nets, now known as the Brooklyn Nets. He led the Nets to the second of two finals in a row that season, in which they lost to the San Antonio Spurs in six games after being swept by the Los Angeles Lakers the year before in his first year with the team. This is a pretty fun game to play, even though it's a little bit complicated to play on a PC as sports games aren't meant to be played on PC with a keyboard. They're meant to be played with a controller. But I, I don't do that as it's a little bit more complicated to try to get a controller meant for an older game like that as it's easier to do with a newer game. But it's best to play with a controller but it's still fun to play with a keyboard as it has a little bit of a challenge of playing with a keyboard. But it's still a lot of fun to play, be able to play a basketball game on a PC as something that a lot of players do with a keyboard. But it's fun, and you can do a lot of things in the game. It has a lot of players, and it has a lot of things you can do with it. Obviously, you can do one-on-one. -on -one. And the variety of where you can do them is pretty cool to be able to do it at different locations. And a number of different players in the game, so many legends in the game. You don't see that in many older video games nowadays. You don't even see that in a lot of games nowadays. Some of these legends haven't been in video games, or not all of them are, even though like, some of them are brief. But still, this is pretty cool to see this type of like variety in the game and have all the legends and stuff. 
in the game it's pretty cool and you could be able to do a lot of different matchups and it's a lot of fun to be able to play even though again it's the best to play on a console or, or with a controller but so it's fun though we're gonna do all these different types of modes and it shows like the type of variety it has and most times on a pc usually they, they tone it down compared to the console but this is just even better than console most likely as it has a lot of online features as well well, at the time, more people played it, obviously, because, you know, when it came out, it was 2002. But still, it's a lot of fun to play, even though it's a little bit hard to play with a keyboard. Especially one-on-one, -on -one, that's tough. Imagine doing it in a game with a keyboard, but still, it can be fun. And it's it's pretty cool, because the classic game, NBA Live, you don't get this type of games anymore with Live, especially how dominant NBA 2K is, has been. Especially nowadays, people don't really play Live anymore. But still, this is a good Live game, as this was back with the days of when NBA Live was actually good. And 2K was good then, but NBA Live is much, was much better then, even though you could go either way. But so this is a lot of fun to, this is a lot of fun to play and be able to do all these other modes and stuff. It's just pretty cool to see the variety that it has in the game. Even though the broadcasting in the game isn't that great, they're not, those broadcasts are never even heard of when playing that game. They're not Marv Albert, they're not Mike Fratello as you see in later games. But still, it's, it's pretty cool that they at least have that in be able to play with different types of players as well it's it could be fun to play that's for sure and i would recommend playing this game it's a good old classic game and be able to play it different from what you get nowadays obviously the graphics aren't as good that's obviously the case with an older game but i don't really mind that too much even though you don't get the exact replica of what the players are like in real life you can still tell some of them are them but they don't look exactly like their real life selves but they did the best they could with the technology they had at the time but Still, it's a pretty fun game to play, especially all the types of modes you got playing all these modes. And the music is pretty good as well, even though the songs are, are not that bad. But if you're going platinum, that's pretty cool that a video game soundtrack could do that. Not many video games can have that type of soundtrack. Probably stuff that could even rival Live 2003 would probably be GTA. But that stuff is just mostly from other soundtracks or albums. But this is pretty cool that they have at least an original soundtrack. Well, some of them were actually from actual soundtracks, but still, this is pretty cool that at least do that. But the game is fun, even though it's like I said, it takes such a while to be so PC, but the gameplay is pretty cool to play. And the controls are simple as well, it's not that hard to memorize controls in this game. Well, the console, you're obviously not going to have a hard time. But so, I would recommend this game to play. It's a fun basketball game to play. Play a nice old game. You get to see what the players were like then. Especially if you didn't get to watch the live, you get to actually play with them. You get to see what Michael Jordan was like as an active player as well. That was pretty cool. If you control him there. And yeah, I recommend this game. You're going to have a lot of fun. And, and you're going to have a great time playing it. And you should enjoy it because it's a classic game. You don't get many games like this anymore. NBA Live is pretty much done. Even though they try to make it come back. But they're not at the level that they were then. But still, get into it. You have a lot of fun. And good luck. Anyway, so all you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, guys, peace.